guys, I'm in such a great mood today because I'm vlogging today. So I just wanted to throw this in here because if you guys want to see some behind the scenes footage in my filming setup for this video, it's all covered in that one. So um, I'll have the vlog channel linked down below or whatever. It's youtube.com slash Lacey's Lovely Life. And I really hope you guys go check it out. But as for today's video, I'm finally doing another installment of Lacey's Leads. So last time I did drugstore foundations, today I am trying to tackle the very overwhelming selection of drugstore mascaras. And I just want to say, take some of these recommendations with a grain of salt. I know a lot of people look for different things in mascaras, so these could be tricky. But all in all, I'm just trying to lead you in the right direction and tell you some of my favorites that I think are going to work for you. I'm quickly just going to also throw in here that my lashes are fairly normal. They have some length. They're very thin. I feel like I don't have a lot of volume in my natural lashes. And also, I don't wear waterproof makeup, and I really like a mascara that curls my lashes for me. I do not curl them with an eyelash curler. <laughs> I almost said eyeliner for whatever reason on a daily basis. So I really like some natural curls. So let's go ahead. I have three of them to share with you today and then one honorable mention. So let's get started. We are going to begin with Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express. This is going to run you about $5.99 depending on where you get it. So it's a very, very reasonably priced mascara. I have loved this for so long. I want to say it's been my go-to for about two years and I just really think my lashes always look great when I wear this. This brush actually really surprised me because it's plastic and I tend to go for natural bristled brushes, but this one has a fairly small wand. It does have pretty short bristles. And I know that some people do complain that this can get a little bit clumpy and it totally can if you take it too far. The reason I love this though is because it builds so, so quickly. And I really hate, especially when I'm getting ready in the morning and I'm kind of on limited time, I hate sitting there with a the mascara for five minutes and like having to to build it up to like three, four coats. It's just so annoying to me. So this is definitely one I go to in a pinch when I just want like one coat I can even get away with, two coats max. And it, that's just funny because I love me some bold lashes and this totally gives me that in two coats. So definitely, definitely a great volumizing mascara. I don't feel like it's a great one as far as length goes, but this formula also stays put. Like I said, none of these are in waterproof and I really turn to this even when I go to Reds games a lot in the summer because if I get stuck in the rain, if I'm sweating because it's super hot, this is not going to budge. Because of that, it is a little bit harder to remove, but my simple cleansing facial towelettes do a great job at removing it. My next recommendation is Almay's One Coat Triple Effect. I bought this within the last year and it is going to run you very similar to that Maybelline Rocket one, about $5.99 in the drugstore. Um, I recently found this because of Emily Eddington. It's been an Emily Awards winner for quite some time and I just finally had to try it. I will say it's a little bit trickier to find because I know with two All May displays where I live, one had it, one didn't, and I even purchased another All May mascara thinking it was this one, but it wasn't. So just make sure you really find the one if you're looking to try this that says one coat, triple effect, and has these like three little bands on it. The reason I love this mascara is because it's a little bit more natural looking than that Maybelline one, but this is one you're going to have to play with and build up a little bit. With the Maybelline one, because it has such good staying power, I feel like it makes the lashes look a little bit more rigid. So with this, I definitely have like a flared out fluttery look. By far though, my favorite part of this mascara is the brush. I've talked about this so much on my channel recently, but it has two sizes of bristles. So one of the sides is very, very short and really spaced out actually. And the other side is fairly long. I love that because I really like to use the short side to deposit the mascara mascara, then once I feel like I have enough on there, I go back through and comb through with the longer side. So even though the formula on this is a little dry, a little thick, and a little bit more on the moussey side, I think it's going to work for a lot of you. I've recommended this to so many of my friends. It is definitely deep in black, and even though you do have to build it up quite a bit, I'm always super happy if I have just the little bit of extra time that you need with this mascara because I always feel like it leaves my lashes looking great. Next up is this little green guy right here, and I must say CoverGirl Clump Crusher has taken my heart within the past few weeks. I have gotten this out after using Benefits Roller Lash because that tends to be a little bit clumpy. I've been using this in conjunction with it and guys, 
every single girl on the planet needs this mascara. It's a little bit pricier. I would say it's between about six or seven dollars depending on where you get it. But guys, you can wear this alone. It's gonna look a little bit more natural. It's gonna give you probably the most length out of all of these and not a lot of volume. However, my favorite way to use this is in conjunction with other mascaras. So say you have that mascara that you bought, that you hate, that's very clumpy and it's kind of over the return date and you just don't know what to do buy this mascara. <laughs> I'm not guaranteeing it, but really when paired with some of the mascaras that I don't even like, this makes them tolerable, especially with this little brush and formula even, because this formula is probably the driest mascara I've ever come across. Granted, this is a very old one and I need to go get another one just because I've been using it to death. But because of the dry formula, it really can declump mascaras without adding a lot of product. This brush is also a great Great, great tool as well when separating the lashes because I love that it has a very very slight curve to it but it's also kind of on the smaller side and the there's tons of bristles on this thing but they're all pretty short so I really 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 feel like this can get into every lash get that separation that you need and the formula guys you just can't beat it I mean seriously like can I rave any more about this stuff <laughs> speaking of little tiny baby lashes I had to throw in this quick honorable mention this is the Maybelline lash discovery mini brush mascara. This is going to cost you I would say about five fifty to six bucks depending on where you buy it but obviously since this is made for your lower lashes it's going to have a teensy tiny brush. The bristles on this are very small they're kind of in little discs like they're, they don't swirl around the wand but I don't know I mean they're just very very short which makes it super easy because when you're applying it you don't really make a mess and that's something I'm prone to so I appreciate that. <laughs> but I will say that I don't feel like it's the best formula I've ever come across. It tends to be very light on the lashes and even for me, someone who wears a lot of just natural makeup, I don't feel like it brings out my lower lashes as much as I would like. However, I do feel like I can get there with like a couple coats or something like that, but I do have to build it up if I'm wearing a more dramatic eye. But I feel like if you just have a little bit of extra time or you're prone to messes like me, I think this is a great addition. So those are my recommendations. I hope you found these helpful. If you did, please make sure to give this a huge thumbs up. And I also wanted to say if you are trying these mascaras for the first time, please buy them somewhere you can return them. There are so, so many retailers right now that will return open and used makeup. So just a few off the top of my head, I know definitely all of these do because I return a lot of makeup I don't like. Um, CVS, Walgreens, Meyer, Target, Walmart. I mean, guys, all of those, if you have your receipt, will give you a full refund. So it kind of makes it worthwhile because if you want to try these, but you're afraid about losing money, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I would absolutely love to see if you guys send me photos if you decide to pick these up. I just love interacting with you guys and also I need more ideas for videos like these. So if you have a category that's very overwhelming or confusing to you, please leave me that down below or even if you just have a question and maybe I'll just do a video based on that question. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.